Welcome back, everybody. I believe this is episode 42, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Uh, I went ahead and upgraded the extractor and the furnace both off camera, so they're both medium voltage now. Um, didn't upgrade the fuel fire generator because I think solar power should be giving me more than enough power to do anything. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, I guess I'll throw it there. I think it should be okay. So I can grind. I can furnace things. Soon I can get this stuff automated, but first, in order to automate anything, you need a logic control unit. I mean, I guess a control logic unit. A CLU. Um, and those you put into an upgrade slot. I believe the other upgrade slot you can put a battery in. And it makes the machine use less power, I think. Eeps. Um, no worries, just something of no importance fell on the floor. Chunk of wood. Um, but in order to make this, I need fine gold wire, which means I need gold. Which I think I have gold dust. Yeah, I got a bunch of gold dust. So I'll go ahead and take 20 gold dust. And go ahead and throw that in the furnace. Um, so that'll work. Copper, and yeah, I've got some of that. Silicon wafers and chromium. Silicon you get from um, alloying. Oh yeah, it says right there, duh, alloying. Sand and coal dust. I don't think I have any sitting around. No, I just have doped ones. Uh, so I'll have to make some of those. I don't think I have any coal dust, so I'm going to have to get some more coal because I don't have any of that either. And, um, what's the other thing I need here? Chromium ingots. Which means, obviously, I need to find chromium lumps. Because, lo and behold, I do not have those either. And you know what that means. Time for a trip down to the... I don't know why I put all that stuff in here. Time for a trip down to the bowels of the earth in a cave realm to find coal and chromium. I've got sand there. I don't know if that's enough sand. I may need to gather up some more sand as well. Uh, I should grab some food. Ah, oh, werewolf at the door. It's good, it's good. Oh, wow, look at that. Wah! <laughs> oh, I was trying to look at my wheat field there. Yeah, stupid werewolf. Anyway, I should grab some food to take with me on the road. I don't have any great food here. Well, that's super. I guess I'll just take a bunch of those and a bunch of these and a bunch of these. I don't really have anything that's going to give me a lot of health. Uh, berry bushes I'm going to replant at some point. Kind of group them together. I'm going to chop these rubber trees out as well. I think I have enough latex. But I'm going to make a chainsaw to do that, I think, because that's way easier. Um, but for the time being, let's just go over to spawn and hope we can safely get to this cave realm. Well, I mean, I did. And then I fell. But I still made it safely to the cave realm. And actually, I don't know why I'm even doing that when I set a home position in this cave. Ooh. Two dragons. And a mouse. And a beautiful vein of copper and steel and coal. Iron. Iron, I should say. Steel is processed. Iron isn't. I forget, there's... You have to burn the carbon out of it or something? In real life? To make steel? I'm not a... M m metallurgist? Metallurgist? I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I, uh... I'm not a person that makes metals. Oh. 
yeah. Let's let's run away from that guy. Um, but I do need some light. Let's see what's up here. A cave that is lit. Well, there could be several reasons for that being lit. I don't know what they are, so I'm going to stay out. It could be lava. could be somebody filled it with torches. You never know. Chromium. Where would I find chromium? I don't even know, honestly. It's not something that I find a lot of. And honestly, I don't know where you'd find any of this stuff. Like, you just, you find it. Sometimes it's right out in the open. Sometimes you got to do a lot of work to get it. Someone's got a furnace just chilling there. The Mies monster down over there. I'd like to grab that copper, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'll just leave that alone. You know the old expression, leave well enough alone. Well, I'll leave well enough alone. I do see some Mies up in the wall here, though. That I'm not going to leave alone. If I can reach it, I will get it. This must be dirt I'm going through. Or gravel. Gravel. Alright, well I think I've got a shovel here. That should be no problemo. Well, and turn it to, until it turns out that it's a stack of gravel like 200 stacks tall. Then it's a problem. I'm also unsure how I can... Yeah, why am I not picking this gravel up? That's weird. I was thinking, like, there's no way my inventory's full. Like, I emptied it just before I headed out. Only carrying the most important of necessities with me. And I must harvest these Mies crystals. Because I want to build another travel net. And I think this actually will give me enough where I can. Also, in addition to travel nuts, um, should I ever decide that I want to get some Mesicon circuitry going, you know, because you can use that with your machines and stuff from Technic, um, you know, it'd be good to have a, a little stash of Mesicons, or uh, I should say Mies Crystal. What do you, Mies Crystal Fragments, I think, you cook to make a Mesicon conductor wire thing whatever you want to call it so i would need those for that as well and what did that give me four all right and i think i had four or five sitting around oh man there's some more up that i missed i think i had four or five sitting around at, in the in my base so i'd probably be good to make that next travel net but I really do need to find a better section of the cave realm because this is just kind of all filled with lava and it's kind of a big mess and I don't know where that mies went I thought it was right there it's got to be right above me where is it like, seriously, where did he go? It was on the front wall. Higher up yet? Um. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot right there. Well, it's mine now. Which is good. Because now I definitely have enough. I still don't think I found any chromium, though. Nope, absolutely no chromium. To be honest, I'm not even sure what chromium looks like as an ore on the ground. I, like, I don't know what color it is. Which is a problem. Because that's something you kind of need to know. Wow. How do I get down there without dying? Obviously. Oh, you know what? Here's an idea. 
It's probably a horrible, horrible idea, but... Okay, I hit something hard. Ah, granite. Okay, well, let's see. That's still a long way to go. And I think it's going to put me, like, smack in the middle of lava. Well... Oh. Yeah, it's going to be smack in the middle. But I could tunnel across. So as to not get in the lava. This is kind of dangerous. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and take one of these bags. Come on, don't I have a bag that's like empty? Here we go. I'm going to throw... Throw my ores and all my stuff in there that I'm collecting here. I guess the cobble really doesn't matter. It doesn't either. But just to safe keep it. Keep it safe. Safekeeping. Because I don't want that to all be lost. If slash when things go horribly wrong and I fall to my death. At least in all of those valuable resources that I risked my very life and existence for will be, you know, safe. And I'll still have them. And it looks like there is a ton of minerals and stuff out there, so I should be able to definitely make this a very worthwhile trip. Assuming, of course, I have another pickaxe on me. Which one would think I don't. Really? Are you kidding me? I don't even have sticks. I do have wood, though. I guess I can make sticks out of that. I have a jungle stick. That ain't gonna do me any good. Wow, this is... pathetic. Why don't I have... You? One would think, one would just think that, you know, I'd carry around some spare sticks with me or something. But nope. Now I'm wondering, can I? I can't. Sweet. So is that jungle sticks just honestly wasting inventory space? Like, it's not good for anything. Well, I you mean, you can use it in a recipe that calls for sticks, which is excellent. But it takes up an inventory slot, and it's one item. Like, that's wasting inventory. I think that's diamond. No, that's not diamond. Might that be chromium? I don't know. It might be. There is something down there. It came from someplace strange. No, actually, right about where my crosshairs are. There's a whole bunch of these blue things over there. That might be chromium. I'm not sure. So, of course, I'll do what any smart person would do. And head over there and mine some and find out. That is assuming, of course, that it's mineable with a stone pickaxe. Which, you never know. Some things are, some things aren't. Actually, I think all of the ores are. Almost all of them. I know Mies isn't, Diamond probably isn't. But other than that, I think, by and large, you can mine anything with a stone pickaxe. And all your upgrades to the pickaxes literally just make you mine faster. Which, don't get me wrong, is a phenomenal thing to be able to do. Because this is taking forever. Endeavor, endeavor. Like, I'm not even going to get anything accomplished here. Is this finally down to a walkable distance it is all right let's grab the gold really well go ahead and make a new stone pickaxe here and grab that gold because gold's important actually i don't even know you need gold dust for all of the um, silicone wafers. So, yeah, I would say it's very important. 
we need to figure out how to get across this chasm. Which the easiest way, of course, is just to make a, a stone bridge. Because I definitely don't have any shortage of stone. I got so much stone. And that's probably what I'll do. In fact, um, let's pull some stone in here. And I threw that in bag four. Nope, bag three. Yeah, let's grab that. And let's grab all of this stone. And you know, let's go ahead and throw all that stuff in there because there's a good chance I could perish whilst doing this. This is always so sketch. I figure if I make the path too wide and too deep, it should be relatively safe would be nice if I could cut off the flowing lava as well but I don't see that happening maybe at some point in the future I'll be able to do that though come on almost there almost there am I really almost there I think I am pretty sure I am and because I missed one down there. Oh yeah, I'm almost there. In fact, I will do a stair down and then do that and that and jump. And where's my axe, my pickaxe? Harvest that stuff up. Oh, it's only zinc? Man! Zinc ain't worth nothing! Okay, that's a lie. Zinc has a few uses. It's just not what I was looking for. Well, I didn't really want to do that, but I guess. Let's go ahead and... That was weird. I glitched through a block definitely was not what I was trying to do but whatever okay let's get this I guess we'll just do that because that worked <sighs> the thing with flowing lava is you can't really <laughs> you can't get work around it like I'm not in the lava right at that very second but it still considers to be a lava filled node. Well, I guess the other option is to do this. Oh, hey, that worked. Did it? Oh, lava's flowing from that side too. I didn't realize that. I think that's alright though. If there was an easier way to place this stuff. Alright, so that's kind of pulling back. And it's exposing kind of a walkway. Of course, now there's no light in here. Um, all right, well, I mean, it definitely made it a little safer. If only there was a way. Why isn't lava pointable? If I could point at the lava, I could throw stone in there, but I can't. So I'm just going to have to satisfy myself with knowing I made it a little bit safer. I'm actually really wondering what kind of... Oh, I missed a whole bunch of stuff there. Or wait, did I? No, I was higher. I was much higher, actually. Okay, well... That's fine. I'm going to grab this and this. I don't need that, but I need to get to these. 
and I definitely need this one. I want to get on top of this little this little slope. Here we go. All right, let's see what's up here. There's a lot of purple moss covered cobble. Um, a giant lava spill there. Some gold, bunch of lava. Uh, zinc, coal, gravel. A Mies monster right there, but I think he'll leave me alone. Some more zinc. Kind of go down. A bunch more lava. Is there a safe way to get down? Oh yeah, right here. This is perfect. Um, we got some more steel and iron. Some giant mushrooms. Which I'm not a fan of, but yeah, whatever. Some mossy cobble over there with lava. I don't understand that. All right, well, this would be a good place to toss in a travel net. But do I have what I need to build one? I don't think so. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see here. What do I all need? Need a mise block, raw iron. I don't think in that bag I have enough to make a block. No, I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and... Set this as a home. Because this is a great position. And then I'm going to go home here. And jump down to the basement. And let's pop some stuff in the grinder. Uh, I'll get all this stuff ground up and processed and everything off camera. It's nothing that you haven't already seen. And... I may possibly do some more looking around in the cave realm to try to find some chromium. Because I feel like that's just going to be a lot of time spent with really not a whole lot going on. And it will probably be pretty boring, honestly. And yeah, I don't think people really want to necessarily just watch boring stuff for a whole bunch of times. So probably just get that done and, and then do something fun in the next video. Well, that's going to wrap it up for now. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.